name is Charles or also basically we're friends and then um, I happen to be the best man at the wedding. My name is Joya Febwa. For, for one, I think they compliment each other. She's so calm, reserved. They compliment each other. She's, she's, she's that kind of person that comes to the room and you just, she listens. She has, she, has a, she has a listening spirit, you know. She has that energy like, okay, you know what, she comes, she absorbs you basically. And then you become friends with her and before you know it, you're stuck. My name is Boro Christopher Ovie. My name is Ukeme Nse Udofia. But this particular day, I went for a meeting. A friend of mine called me out. Ah, Chris, you know, this is my friend in UBA, you know, like, you need to talk to this guy. So I arranged the presentation and he got his colleagues together. So after the presentation, I felt good, you know, because it was almost like a close deal, you know. So driving out, I saw her, you know. What struck me, you know, there was, there's this thing that girls do, like, you understand? I need you in my life, I don't break. when I was about working with UBA, working with UBA, and I had left the office with my friend. He was in the same building, but according to him, when he saw us, he left the meeting that he was in, dropped towards us, and it was drizzling. So he asked us if he could drop us somewhere. But because of what my, I'll always tell him this, because of what my sister told me that I should be careful of Abudia voice. <laughs> So I was like, what's on to like? So I waited after the traffic light. They crossed and they were trying to get a cab. So I pulled over and I walked up to them. I was like, hey, what's up? I couldn't help but notice you guys were trekking from that hole. You know, Do you mind if I keep you guys right? They were like, no, 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 don't worry, you know. I was like, it's about to rain. They said, no, there's no rain. I said, there's cloud. They said, don't worry. And so I bounced. So I had to ignore him, then I went with my friend. But on the second thought, I was like, okay, let me just wait. But before I knew what was happening, like, the pop seat to one of the girls just pulled over and carried all of them. I was like, I was actually, I gave up. But it got to that point, so I was like, no. I think God really wants me to like, there were so many clues, you know, but it wasn't adding up. Now, there were five. The four of them went into the car. There was one going opposite direction, so he couldn't go along with them. And that was how I got to, like, I said, okay. So I cancelled my next appointment and I took the guy. I was like, whatever you're doing, I'll drop you. But I'm a nice guy. I'm like, man, I'm so nice. Man. But I got to a point where I got, I engaged him and we're talking and I was like, he told me their names and I caught I was like the fair one he said okay man that was it. He told me her name, okay man. What do you guys do? Like I just wanted a clue where I could see her again. He said no 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 like sorry that's the only information I asked. No problem. So I dropped him off. I went back to the branch and I told them look I need to speak to you, okay man. They were like her second name. I said that's the name I know they said I described her. They're like, no, sorry, actually, they've been posted that. I was like, wow, please, I really have to speak to this girl. They said, is he official? I said, no, actually, it's personal. They said, okay, if it's personal, then it's against that one. I'm like, I know. I'll go do this thing now. But eventually, I was like, since it's UBA, and they posted them out, then it's in Abuja. So I said, okay, I started from three hours on, and I started working from bank to bank, from every UBA. On Monday, my first day at my office, I saw someone walking in. He sat down and he was panting. And right about then, I walked up to her, I told her, if you don't give me your number, leave, because I've actually stressed the hell out of myself, I was sweating. If you don't give me the number, if you, if you know what you put me through today. He excused me that he wants to talk to me. She was like, hello, I don't know you. I was like, you know me. And I sat down. It was so dramatic, she was like, okay, you know what, please, if I give you your number, you leave. I said, yes. She gave me her number and I left. And that was how I met her. We exchanged numbers and at the end of the day, he dropped me off. So it started from there, and this is where we are. I wish them the best, the utmost best. I mean, 
what God has planned for the marriage is beyond their knowledge and beyond their expectations. So they should come across that thing. I wish them happiness because happiness is key. Like without happiness, then there's no maybe prosperity and every other thing. So I wish them happiness, then God's love, then of course children, wealth, health, and many more things they should achieve together as a couple. I want to say, my lady, you've done so much to my life, as in you brought so much joy. I can't even, as in I lack words to actually quantify. You actually don't even have an idea of what you've actually done to me. You brought me out from like the ordinary. You set me apart. And I want to say, I'm not just going to take it for granted. Like, I'm not going to take it for granted. I'll do my best to make this work. And not just make it work, you'll be very happy. I'll make you comfortable and I'll take you to places that you will never imagine in your life. Just to appreciate the fact that you're the best thing that have ever happened to me. You're the best. I love you so much. I love you so, so much. And I pray I have kids that will look just like you. So that I can duplicate whatever I do to you to them. You know, you're mine and you're mine for life. I'll see you in the 70s. See you while we eat. See you, in fact, in our like 120. Then we can die at 140. Hey, baby. Thank you so much for this um, Hollywood. Uh, thing that you've given me I really really love it and I knew that whenever you want to do something you always do it uh, make it really big and I'm so proud of you I'm proud of being your woman and I hope I'll be able to show the kind of love and even more than you showed me I hope I'll be able to stand by you through thick and thin and I hope that we'll be able to go through this life together from the first day we start on to that or if God comes and I love you and I always, always love you.